Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry that I'm backlit. I'll try to block it with my head. But today we are going to be talking about all the books I read in October. I read 10 books. All of them were pretty good and we're just gonna hop into it. I'm gonna pull up my Goodreads that way I can tell you accurately what I rated all of them. Feeling very proud. I didn't get all of my TBR done. I honestly don't even remember what was on my TBR, but I feel like I got the main things that I wanted to get read, read, which is super exciting, always an accomplishment. And yeah, like I said, I enjoyed myself. I read some new books that I wasn't planning on reading and it was just a fun time. So the first book I have is one that's been on my TBR since July. And that is the last published book of the From Blood and Ash or A Blood and Ash series. This is A War of Two Queens or The War of Two Queens. It's the fourth book. Um, I honestly can't even remember how this ended. I know it was like a plot twist. It ended where we're going to be seeing a lot more conflict. I'm still trying to decide if I want to finish the series because there's going to be two more published books. And I'm like... The first two books I loved. I loved it so much. The third book kind of got me in a book slump. I couldn't read it. And then this book, again, same thing, got me in a book slump. Couldn't really read it. Just wanted to read it to finish it because it's on my TBR. And I'm like, I could just stop at this point. But it's like, I want to know what Poppy and Castile end up doing um and i'm like they're probably gonna have a happily ever after and i love that but then also i can just make that up in my head so what is the point of continuing to read it if it's not bringing me joy but anyways i ended up rating this three stars all of that to say i rated it three stars like i said i enjoyed it i would recommend it if you like wanted to know what happened kind of like how i was i wanted to i want to keep on reading the series see what's happening but yeah um first book done next book i read was actually super exciting i had bought this in early september and i wasn't planning on reading it to michigan on a girl's trip and i actually read it in the city and like the drive there and that is the bromance book club guys this book had me in a choke hold five stars immediately i want to buy the rest of the series but i'm trying to hold myself to it of not buying any books until i read my tbr which is so hard because this book had me feeling some sort of way. I mean about the guy being so in love with the girl and trying to win her back. Probably because that's something that I want. Um, but anyways, it was so adorable. But just like him trying to like win back the love of his wife. Like show him, show her that they are in love and that they are meant to be together. And yeah, that they love each other and that their love should conquer. And it's just super cute. And also the fact that it's kind of like a sports romance. Not that that's like the big overarching idea that he's a baseball player it is like i have something about a little bit of sports in the book but yeah super good i would recommend it guys take notes that's all i can say this book i read is another one i wasn't planning on reading i actually bought this while i was in michigan and that is love in the time of serial killers i feel like i've seen this um everywhere a little bit i don't want to say everywhere but the things that i've been watching i've been seeing it everywhere and yeah, this is this is a new release for 2022, fall of 2022. I ended up rating it to, no, 3.25 stars. It was cute, I liked it, but it wasn't like, I thought it could have been more. Like when I read the back of it, I was so excited to see this, this um, PhD candidate. She is grieving the loss of her father and child of divorce and she doesn't trust people she's into murder mysteries and oh my gosh she thinks her neighbor's a serial killer what's gonna happen i just thought there could have been a little bit more but guys this cover it's giving like funny you should ask cover theme and i think it's so cute it is very it's very like valentine's themed but also spooky themed and i loved it like I loved it 3.25 stars i would recommend it if you're interested in a contemporary romance that deals with like some sort of spook um but again not my favorite one that i read this month and yeah the next one i have is one that i totally forgot to put on my tbr and that is it starts with us by colleen hoover obviously i read this the day of its release i have a reading blog of it i rated this one five store five stores 
I rated this one five stars because this is a book for the people, not the plot. It is not a plot driven book. It is for the people that loved Lily and Atlas who wanted to see them succeed in their relationship. And that's what this is. It's a feel good um, little book that if you're looking for a super plot driven book, don't pick this up. But if you're looking for a nice little like extended epilogue, um, for it ends with us then I would recommend this it picks up right after the epilogue and I just thought it was super good like I said I read it the day it came out and I tabbed it up it made me feel good things and it made me really feel sweet and his vows at the end is like really like what saved this book for me and also the cover is stunning we love it but yeah obviously read it ends with us first but I loved it. Next one we have is one that was on my TBR and that is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I actually rated this one two stars. It was my least favorite book of this month, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. I just, I have read three other Lisa Jewell novels and I have loved all of them. I think like four to five stars on all of them. And so this one I had a lot of hopes for, I guess. And I just, I guess I didn't really understand it. Like it wasn't the mystery that I was looking for it just kind of felt stale we get three perspectives and I thought that was interesting some of the twists were good but it was just like not as shocking as I thought it would be I know there is a sequel to this book that I think came out this year called The Family Remains probably I'm not gonna pick it up just because I I don't need like this concluded on a point where like it's fine to end like that um, but yeah, I do think this book is cool because I have it signed, which is super exciting. And it gets a little bonus chapter because it's the Target edition. But yeah, rated it two stars. Wouldn't be my first recommendation for a Lisa Jewell novel. The next little series I have for you guys is actually the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I rated this entire book series three stars. Um, Shadow and Bone is obviously a very popular series. There's a TV, um show adaptation of it it's it's very well known i would say and i like i said rated it three stars which i think is a universal rating and i think people like six of crows a little bit more which i am currently reading just beware like a reading vlog for these five books will be coming out soon so just be prepared for that in these three stars i thought the fantasy was good there was somewhat of a love triangle but you always knew who the main character was going to end up with and i was rooting for the other person the entire time um uh, there was a lot of conflict that didn't need to happen and of course since it's a fantasy world a lot of things that were confusing but overall i did enjoy it and i don't want to sound like i hated it because like i said i i, I did enjoy it i think the second book was my least favorite um i think maybe i don't know they're actually like pretty good sized books i didn't realize that but i do really like these covers and in each one of these i got a little like bonus edition like the third book we got a darkling story which a dark the darkling is um the villain in the series so it's super good and yeah um rated this one three stars i'm so excited after i finish six of crows so excited to watch the show because i will be watching it i want to see this on the screen second to last book i have is another one that was on my tbr and that's because it was a school book that is walden by henry david thoreau or throw i did not know this was a non-fiction book i don't know i had no idea like i thought it was a fiction a fiction novel i don't know but it's actually a non-fiction book and it is Henry David Thoreau's experience living by the Walden Pond for two years and he basically is telling you guys like telling the readers that they should escape society essentially and kind of question what they've been told materialism capitalism all of these things and some of the things he said was actually really insightful but also it's like he's a cynical lonely man um and I rated it three stars so it wasn't it wasn't the worst book I've ever read. I actually rated it 3.75 stars. So this is one of my favorite like classics actually. A lot of people in my class did not appreciate it because he is like kind of, he's not angry, but he's very critical and it's type of like my way or no way, I would say. But there was just points where I was like, oh my gosh, this guy like is actually so good. And this is just a funny quote that I literally just stumbled upon, but it says, I find it wholesome to be alone the greater part of the time. To be in company, even with the best, is soon worrisome and dissipating. I love to be alone. I never found the companion that was so companionable as solitude. And I was like, that is good. Like, this is really good. So, like, some things like that are, they just speak to me. He has 
I have three chairs in my house, one for solitude, two for friendship, three for society. And I'm like, oh my God. And he just was very like beautiful in his use of Im imagery. And I'm actually writing a paper on the imagery in this and how he used it to just like teach an entire lesson by like the sound of a bird singing. He could teach you an entire lesson about how you need to change your life. It's up to the reader if they want to decide to change your life. Um, I'm not saying that I have drastically changed my life since reading this, but I think I've begun to appreciate nature a little bit more. And he's also a very like big morning guy and how to appreciate your mornings and how everything good happens in the mornings. Not, not that nothing ha bad happens at like more at another time, but just a, an abundance of good things happen in the morning. But anyways, if you can't tell, this is an English major of me coming out. I really did appreciate this novel. It's not a novel, actually, it's a book because Novels are only used if they're fiction. I don't know if you knew that, but anyways, this is the last um, physical book I have right now because the last book I read, I actually gave to my friend Matthias yesterday and I finished it yesterday, last day of October, and that was Notes on Heartbreak by Annie Lord. I rated this one five stars. It was incredible. If you guys know what's been going on in my life, this book is very very relatable almost to like a point where i wish it wasn't um and the way that she just wrote this book was exceptional i don't want to say it's a memoir because it's not it's about one singular heartbreak and it tells you how she was grieving in real time like as it was happening and then she also goes into flashbacks of like her and her partner falling in love and it just hurt me really bad some really really wise advice and I wish I had the physical copy to, so I could like show you some of the things that I thought was just exceptional but I don't because Matthias needs that book right now and I can't wait to like keep on lending it out because it is so good but anyways I would definitely recommend that that like I said is another nonfiction. so I read two nonfiction um books this month and I didn't even I wasn't planning on it this one that one was super good so yeah, that's all 10 books I read this month. You guys enjoyed listening to all the books I read this month. Like I said, I feel like I had a pretty good reading month. I think I had four or three five star books, which is exceptional. It's pretty good. And yeah, I'm just super excited for the November TBR. Also, sorry I've had my knee up this entire time. I didn't even realize that until just now. I guess it's just comfy. But I'm gonna go film my November TBR because I'm super excited about that as well. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys are reading or what you read in October and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.